Good afternoon, my name is Shelley Kral. I am the Northridge Elementary Librarian. Uh, my official title is Library and Information Technology Educator, or LIGHT. I am also our campus Google Guide. And right now I'm going to show you how to set up your first Google Classroom. So the first thing we're going to do is open our web browser. I would recommend that you use Google Chrome for all of your Google apps since those are meant to blend seamlessly with Google Chrome. And we're going to go over here to the waffle where when you hover over it, it says Google Apps. You can also type in the search bar classroom.google.com. I use the waffle though. I click on classroom and it's going to bring up a screen. Now, I've had multiple classrooms, I just finished cleaning them up, but we need to create a new one. So I'm going to find my plus sign. Generally it's going to be up here in the upper right, sometimes it might be in the bottom right. Just look for the plus sign, that's how you add something in Google. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click create class. And then I'm going to type in my class name. And you can put in a section or a subject. Those are not required. But I like to fill in that information just so that I can make sure that I can find the exact right classroom later when I'm archiving. And then I click Create. and we sit and wait for Google to think. So now my classroom has been created and the next thing I'm going to do is adjust the theme for my classroom. And that's kind of a preference. You can either go with something that Google has already provided by clicking on themes and it gives you choices of different uh, header images but I am actually going to upload a photo from my computer. And I'm going to use a picture of the front of our school. Now your picture has to be a certain size. If it's too big, Google won't use it. And you have to crop it to make it fit that banner. Now I'm going to invite some people. I can do that one of two ways. To invite students, I have a class code that's here on the front that I can just email or display. And to display it big, you just click on that box there and it makes it nice and big. Or I can go under people. I can invite teachers by clicking on the plus sign next to the teachers. I can invite students by clicking on the plus with the person and typing in that student's name or their email address. So this is Sophia Rivas. She's one of our students at Northridge. She's actually Angie Rivas's daughter. I use her as my guinea pig a lot. So I could invite her, but I'm not going to. Once you have invited your students, in theory, your classroom is ready to go and you can just add items to your stream or your classwork. But you may want to adjust some settings and you can do that by clicking on this gear over here in the upper right. And it will allow you to change some class details. Maybe you want to change the name of it. You didn't like the name you chose. Or you want to add a description of the class. Um, you can change whether or not students can post and comment on the stream, can only comment, or only teachers can post or comment. You can change the classwork so that it only shows a notification that you've added something 
or you can change it so that it shows the attachment and the details, or you can set it so that new assignments don't show up on the stream at all. I would not recommend that unless your stream is going to be solely for announcements. Uh, you can change so that only teachers can see deleted items. And we have our guardian summaries. Here's an example of one of those. Uh, in the guardian summary, it's going to update the guardians that are set up in Google Classroom. It's going to tell them whether or not a student has any missing work or upcoming work that's due today or tomorrow or in the upcoming week if they opt for a weekly emails and any class activities, announcements, assignments, and questions. Um, the guardians also have to sign up for the classroom as uh, you will have to send them an invitation. If you have more questions about those guardian emails, please let me know. I will help you with that as well. So then you can go down to the bottom. You can change your overall grade calculation. You can change it to total points or weighted by, cal weighted by category or no overall grade at all. You can allow your students to see the overall grade to the students and add grading cate categories. Now I've had some people ask me what the meet is and the meet is Google's version of Zoom. But right now, I believe the district is really encouraging us to use Zoom. So I recommend not using your Meet link um, for your Google Classrooms. When you're done, you click the Save button and it will take you back to your home screen. Um, I have other videos that show you how to create assignments and I will share those with you as the days go on, or your principal might choose to share that with you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to send me an email at S-A-Kral, K-R-A-A-L, that's two A's, one L, at g.risd.org. Thanks and happy Googling.